Floral, Citrus. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we have a, again, a Glenlivet Nadura. Here on my cask. It's a, well, a bottle already over two years on the market. It's from the travel value. It's a liter bottle and uh, it's from First Fill American Oak. First Fill, no, First Fill X Bourbon Casks from American Oak. And uh, it's 16 years old, so this is one of the very few uh, first fill aged, long aged whiskies, and then from Glenlivet. I had a Glenlivet Nadura lately. It was, I think, a Oloroso Sherry cask. The video is here. And uh, this Sherry cask uh, carried no age statement. So they sold so much Glenlivet whiskey that they had to turn over to no age statement whiskies. <clears throat> and this is one of the very last. Uh, and this one has 48% of alcohol. And uh, the new Naduras, I think they are all in cast strength or high strength. I don't know exactly if it's cast strength strength or not. So this is the first one today. I'm no native English, so the TH is not that normal for me. Here we go, bottled in June 2013, and the batch is 613F. Batch numbers with a letter in it. Yeah, Clay Liver is a really a big distillery. <clears throat> um, Nadura in Gaelic means natural, crafted using traditional 19th century methods. Unlike most modern whiskies, it has not been chill filtered, giving it more body and a distinctively creamy texture and mouthfeel. After 16 years maturing in first fill American oak casks, Nadura is bottled at 48% ABV to deliver its rich and rewarding taste by omitting modern chill filtering. They said that already. We preserve intact the full flavor of the malt, capturing the original character of George Smith Distillery. He founded the distillery in 1824, <clears throat> one of the very first after uh, the possibility of officially licensing uh, distilleries in the islands. The pure expression of a great tradition. You may detect a slight haze when adding water or ice. This is natural reaction due to the omission of chill filtration. Third time. So this one is room temperature, so no haze is there. Color, pale gold. And if this is first fill American uh, ex bourbon cast, American white oak, then the color is just right. And uh, I think they haven't added color, even if they do not say that they do not add color. <clears throat> Nose, soft, rich and floral, candied hazelnuts, I never had candied hazelnut, roasted or sugary hazelnuts, but not candied. And creamy praline enhanced by dry citrus oakiness. Palette, smooth, sweet vanilla and rose petal balanced by a light spiciness. Finish, satisfyingly long. What is satisfyingly? Oh, very fast, I can have the next one or it takes long. I think they mean a long finish. Dry oak with hints of ginger and hazelnuts. Hazelnuts again. <clears throat> so this one is from 2013. So it's already over two years on the market. And uh, these are the very last bottles, I think. Um, if you're happy to find one, somewhere on the shelves with an eight statement on it. Take it. The new ones are without an eight statement. <sighs> Full. Floral, citrus. 
and upcoming vanilla. The hazelnuts are no, not there yet. Cidres is from the typical distillery character and the floral aromas as well. And uh, <clears throat> typically those hazelnuts, the spiciness, uh, oakiness comes from the casks. And vanilla is getting stronger and stronger, really. So with the caramel together, real praliny. Hmm. Wow. Real spiciness. No alcoholic note, no. Really spiciness, sharpness, ginger, and the oakiness, and then mm, bitterness coming through. And typically these ex-bourbon casks have very, very few bitterness, so it's quite a anormal thing to have this oakiness, this strong oakiness. Tasteable. Now the bitterness is vanishing and a light spiciness staying longer. And now might be some hazelnuts. Yeah. And now again those hazelnuts appearing in the nose. Citrus very much in the back, dimming. Little floral, probably those rose, roses, blooming roses, red ones. Why red ones? I only smell on red ones. Hmm. sharpness of the ingwer, ginger. So it's, this is one of the very last bottles with this high age statement of the Nadura range, which is available or might be available. Um, and then the young ones are coming where you technically can't have this extreme oakiness in your mouth because they aren't that old. And it takes time to tear out all those tannins and spiciness from the oak staves of the casks. Yeah, thank you for watching. Stay tuned, there's more to come. And feel free to discuss this bottle with me in my vlog on whiskey.com or discuss it in our forum on whiskey.com as well. And <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs>